subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is loss of biodiversity loss of biodiversity now humans they derive both direct and indirect benefits from the living world in the form of food medicine shelter fibers timber etc this is possible only due to diversity of organism now this biological wealth of a planet that is species diversity is now declining rapidly and that is due to the human activities loss of species is taking place due to human activities the best example of which is colonization of tropical pacific island now during colonization by humans extinction of nearly 2000 species of native birds occurred so colonization of the tropical pacific island led to the extinction of about 2000 species of the native birds now the iucn red list of 2004 showed that about 784 species are extinct since the last 500 years in which there are 338 vertebrate species 359 invertebrate species and 87 are plants recent extinctions are dodo in mauritius quagga in africa thylacina thylacin in australia and the stella sea cow in russia while of the nine subspecies of tiger three are extinct that is java tiger caspian tiger and bali tiger these three species subspecies of tiger are extinct so they are left just six subspecies in the last 20 years 27 species have disappeared now this disappearance is not random some groups are more vulnerable like the amphibians more than 15500 species worldwide are facing the threat of extinction of which there are 12% bird species 23% mammals 32% amphibians and 31% gymnosperms they are these are in the threat of extinction fossil records of the history of life on earth show that large scale loss of species as we are seeing currently has also occurred earlier more than 3 billion years since the origin and diversification of life on earth at least 5 episodes of mass extinction have been seen and the sixth one is at presently in progress but this sixth one is 
has a high rate of species extent, extinction. This sixth episode has a high rate of species extinction. It is 100 to 1000 times faster than the previous extinctions. And these are all due to human activities. And if this continues, then nearly half of all the species present on the earth might be wiped out in the next hundred years. Loss of biodiversity will lead to decline in plant production, means decline in food, decrease in biomass, the food web will be affected, there will be lower resistance to environmental disturbances like drought, floods, increased variability in certain ecosystem processes like plant productivity, there will be changes, water used, pest and disease cycles, the species will be more vulnerable to diseases and predation and the efficiency and the productivity will also decrease. Causes of biodiversity. The four major causes referred as the evil quadrant are habitat loss and fragmentation, over exploitation, alien species invasion and co-extinction. They can be remembered as hoax. H is for habitat loss and fragmentation, O over exploitation, A alien species invasion and X is for co-extinction. Now habitat loss and fragmentation. This is the main reason for extinction of plants and animals. Habitat loss can occur due to destruction, degradation and even fragmentation. Destruction like deforestation, cutting down of trees, forest fires so that the forest, forest gets cleared up or filling a wetland. The one you can see in the picture is that of Ontario where the large wetland was converted into farmland. Now, due to these reasons, a natural habitat of a species is either changed or it is destroyed. This may either kill or force out the species. They may be plant animals or microorganisms due to which the complex interactions between the species will be disrupted completely. Next fragmentation. Now a fragmented habitat means where a habitat is broken down like forest patches, a dense forest is converted into forest patches that is surrounded by cropland, a plantation or an urban area. Now, fragmentations take place when we clear a forest to build our roads. We clear our forest to grow crops. While doing this, the forest is broken down into patches due to which Species that occupy deeper parts of the forest they first get disappeared. Even 
mammals and birds that require large territories like the elephants and certain migratory birds they are affected leading to decline in the population now for example the tropical rain forest that occupied 14% of earth's land surface has been reduced to less than 6% this is due to the human activities leading to habitat loss the amazon rainforest which is which is referred as the lung of the planet is being cut and cleared for soya bean cultivation degradation of habitats occur due to pollution like vast use of chemical compounds release of radiations oil spill over sea these have changed the quality of the habitat like for example pesticides use of pesticides had declined fish eating birds and falcons lead poisoning has increased mortality of species like duck swan and cranes eutrophication of water bodies have drastically reduced species diversity eutrophication means nutrient enrichment in the water bodies now nutrient enrichment in the water body occurs due to discharge of detergents fertilizer fertilizers sewage this causes the growth of algae and aquatic plants decreasing the oxygen in the water so man made disturbance differ from the natural disturbances in the intensity in the rate and even the spatial extent mean the area that they cover next is next cause is over exploitation now humans depend on nature for food and shelter in the process they over exploit its natural resources over exploitation of a particular species reduces its population size to an extent that it becomes vulnerable to extinction in the last 500 years stellar sea cow and passenger pigeon have become extinct due to human over exploitation rhinoceros which is now being extinct is killed for its horn which is sold even costlier than gold similarly marine fishes are being over harvested they are removed from the sea in large quantities next cause is 
alien species invasion. This is the second major cause of extinction of species. Alien means from the outside world or from an outer ha habitat or a species that is not the native of a place. Alien species have been introduced due to some reasons. They turn invasive, causing decline or extinction of the indigenous species. Means they become invasive, means they spread very quickly and undesirably. As a result, they become harmful, harmful to the indigenous species or the species that are already present there. The best example of which is Nile perch. Nile perch was, is a predator fish that was introduced into Lake Victoria. This fish threatened the entire ecosystem of the lake. And it caused extinction of um, about 200 species of the Cicidal fish. Parthenium, that is carrot grass, Lantana camara and Iconia are some examples of invasive weed species. They have been introduced and now have, they are growing uncontrollably. Iconia, that is water hyacinth, has become so invasive that clogs, it clogs the rivers and lakes. And hence threatens the survival of the aquatic species. Another example is the African catfish, Clarias garipinus, which was introduced for agricultural purposes, threatened or led to the extinction of the indigenous catfish. And last, co-extinction means extinction of more than two species that are associated with each other. Now, when one species become extinct, other plant and animal species that are associated with it also become extinct. Means when the species, they have an obligatory relationship means they cannot survive without each other, then they too get extinct. Like when a fish species gets extinct, the parasites associated with it, they also uh, become extinct. Now, in case of co-evolved plant pollinator mutualism, where the plant and the pollinator have been co-involved to help each other, they survive with the help of each other. When either one of is extinct, means it will lead to the extinction of the other one. These are the four causes for loss of biodiversity. That's all for today. Please do like, subscribe and comment. And also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.